Hello and welcome to this tutorial on creative VR tools. Uh, these tools can be used for onboarding VR, meaning these are tools for everyone. This doesn't necessarily um, have much of a learning curve and I'm just gonna cover the availability and where you can find these tools. And then we'll have some other follow-up tutorials on how to use them. So there's gonna be four different things I talk about today, but first of all, I just wanna show, I'm logged into Steam and Steam is like iTunes for video games. And you probably have seen this interface before if you're a PC gamer. If not, um, Steam is a free software that you can download at home. Just want to make sure that was made clear. Um, I'm running uh, an AVL reality station right now. So as you can see here, Steam logged in full screen for me right away. I didn't have to create an account. It just has an AVL account associated with it already. And there's a VR uh, system hooked up to this computer. And if you need help with that, just contact an AVL staff member and they can give you a quick introduction on how to get things set up. Okay, once you're in here, you're going to see a list of applications over on the left. There's a lot of things in here. Some of them are not actually installed if they're grayed out. Um, they're not installed, but they can be. Um, to see everything, you can click this button up here. Right now it says VR for me, but for you it might say games or installed. And Really, that's what we want it to say is installed. So right in the search bar to the right, click that and go to installed. That'll show you everything that's available on the machine you're using. Now I want to be clear that the first app I'm going to talk about, Tilt Brush, that's a paid for application. Some of these applications are free and Tilt Brush is only going to be probably available um, inside of the AVL Next Labs, which um, are located in the ICTC room IT403 on the fourth floor or in IUIC 105 in Bloomington. These are both what, these are both labs that we call Next Labs, which stand for New Emerging Experimental Technology Labs. And what you're going to find in there is sort of a, a collection of a lot of advanced tools. But we have Tilt Brush installed there because we paid for it. It's about $30. You're welcome to pay for it on your own or require your students to purchase it for class. Um, the other one we're going to talk about is Blocks. Blocks is actually a free software. Both Tilt Brush and Blocks are created by uh, Google Teams. And what's nice is they, um, they allow Blocks to be free and they continually update blocks and tilt brush and uh, the third vr software i'm going to talk about today is uh, microsoft maquette so this one's made by microsoft it's right here and microsoft maquette is essentially just like blocks and tilt brush but sort of combined and they keep they keep updating it sort of a competitor but it also interplays a little bit with the fourth thing i want to talk about which is google poly and this is kind of the meat of this this overview right now because i want to get you set up so Setting up Poly is simple. Just open up a web browser and go to poly, P-O-L-Y, dot Google dot com. Once you're there, um, you can sign in and use your IU um, username, actually. So as IU uh, folks, we, we have a relationship. The university has a relationship with Google, which allows us to interface our uh, regular IU usernames with Google. So I'm going to type in mine. And then when I hit next, it should prompt me for a uh, login through CAS or central authentication service. So I'm going to type in now and I'll have to use duo just like regular to get through. Okay. So now here we are and I'm in poly and it, they put the first letter of my first name up here to let me know I'm logged in and What's great about this is Poly has like all kinds of stuff out here to inspire you. So what I did was I clicked these three or four lines up here that opens up this, this sort of side menu. And if you go to say like Tilt Brush, you'll find there are lots of uh, creations that people have made and published, but they've created these in VR headsets in in uh, Tilt Brush in, the ad in that application and then uploaded it to Poly. Just like on YouTube, if you're familiar with that, there's an upload button right here and they allow you to upload uh, 3D files of many different types here, OBJs, uh, GLTF, GLB, which, which we'll actually use that two, those two formats um, with uh, Microsoft Maquette. And then you can actually upload from inside of Tilt Brush and inside of Blocks to Poly. And you can pull items down from uh, Tilt Brush into, or I'm sorry, from uh, Poly into Maquette, Blocks, or Tilt Brush. 
Um, one of the things I'll implore you to do here is if you're just out there searching for things that you might want to incorporate even in your own work, you know, say you're doing some design work and you're just like, I just need one type of object. You can just search for things. So like, let's say I'm going to search for a car because I want to put a car in my design and a whole bunch of different things come up. And if you hit this filter over on the right, you can choose remixable. So then it's going to allow you to see things that are uh, creative commons licensed, meaning they're some they're I mean they're pretty close to public domain, but there are things that you have to give credit to the author for if you publish anything from your creation. Um, so here's a bunch of different cars, and what I'm going to do is if I if I know I'm going to want to use one of these, like this is a really cool futuristic looking car. If I know I'm going to want to use this, I'm going to eventually have to credit Dennis, but I'm going to like it just so I know where it is again in the future. So they're going to basically say, you know, if you like this, it's going to. Um, it's a public action. People can see that you've liked it. So anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to say, got it like, and it's loading the model right now. What's cool is I'm on a desktop and I could access this model with a, uh, a cell phone or even, um, in a VR headset. Um, for right now, this model is pretty heavy. I'm going to go back and load up something that's a little simpler, <laughs> like this red car here. This looks like something that was probably made in blocks if I had to guess. And I'm going to like that as well. Yeah, and there it is. So this is the value of it, right? So you can share this and people can get to it on their desktop or their cell phone. And it's just this sort of tumble or rotate 3D interface. Pretty simple. And you can full screen it, of course. And there you have it. So I would uh, basically encourage you to um, look around on Poly and find things that you might want to remix. Um, that's a good way to get started or at least learn how other people design things. And, uh, and then, and then we can actually use the other tools that in, in inside of uh, steam, like, so in blocks and in maquette and tilt brush, you can actually log into your poly account, um, from there and actually find your favorite. So that's the reason I asked you to, uh, like certain objects on poly. Okay. So I'm going to open up uh, tilt brush and uh, get started and move on to the next tutorial, uh, to see, see an overview of this interface.